Hey everybody, welcome back to BritBeat TV. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about some of the guitars that BritBeat uses on stage. You know, one of the big questions we're asked at all of our shows is, what kind of guitar is that? Is that a reissue? Is that a vintage guitar? So today, I thought it'd be fun to start with one of the basses that I use on stage, and that is the Hofner 500-1 Cavern Bass. It's nicknamed the Cavern Bass because of the Cavern Club back in Liverpool, where Paul used this bass quite a bit. There's a lot of video and pictures of Paul using this bass at the Cavern Club, which, of course, nicknamed it the Cavern Bass. It's different than the bass he would have used on the Ed Sullivan Show and beyond that. So what makes the Cavern Bass different than his traditional Hofner, let's call it the... Uh, Hofner calls it the Mersey Bass today. What's different is this one has a neck and a bridge pickup that are closer together. It creates a real unique tone. It's a thumpy, bassier tone. And it's real prominent on the Please Please Me album. If you listen to the, the whole Please Please Me album was Paul using the Cavern Bass, which is very cool. I love that sound, especially when I saw her standing there. You really hear that, that thumpy bass tone. It's got two Hofner Diamond logo pickups, which is different than the staple top pickups on the other Hofner that Paul uses. Um, one of the other differences is that the neck is a three-piece neck, and the back of the Cavern Base is a two-piece flat back, so it is completely flat as, compo as uh, opposed to the, uh, to the other uh, Hofner that he used, which has a curve. So uh, this bass also historically was refinished in 1964. Paul, uh, it was quite beat up. Paul had to have it redone, refinished. And that is what you see here. That is this, I had this redone and refinished so that it, it mimics and appears like Paul's as it was in 1964 after it was refinished. So that is one of the cool basses that we also have in the Brickbeat collection. So this is a closer look at the Hofner Cavern bass today. We hope that you got a little closer look and got a little more history maybe on the bass that you didn't know before. So join us next time where we're going to tackle another of the guitars that Britby uses on stage live so you can get a closer look. Peace and love, everybody. Thanks.